Welcome back to the beautiful foothills of Southern Ohio here at Cairn Creek. I'm Jeremy. Today we're going to show you how to square up a building. We've got some new buildings we need to put up, so we're going to go ahead and lay them out for you. Show you how to actually do a diagonal properly on a building layout. Also going to jump on the dozer, maybe do a food plot if we have time this evening. For you guys that are new to the channel, if you like what you see today, jump in and hit that subscribe button. We've got content every week coming out. And for everybody that has been following us, thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Stick around. I'm going to tell you more about why we're doing these buildings. You're going to love it. Guaranteed. Come on. All right, so we're laying out this building. Let's do a little tailgate lesson. Been a little while in Karen Creek's uh, YouTube videos. We've learned anything. So we start out with our building size. We know this is going to be 32. We know this is going to be 40. If you paid attention in geometry, Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So what I do, when I lay a building out, I'll get this point. <clears throat> and I'll get this point. I'll measure 40 feet over and I'll get my positioning, my footprint positioning correct with how I want it to lay. All right, so what we're looking for is the diagonal. So now we're going to get my hand dandy iPhone out. We're going to take 32 times 32, 1,024. Write that down over here. Scooch you down. Okay, and 40 by 40, we know is 1,600. But we'll go ahead and do the math. All right, so we're going to take 1,600 plus... 1024 equals we got 2624. On the iPhone, I flip it around sideways and now I'm going to take the square root. So our diagonal is 51.22. Now that is intense, that is not in inches, that's intense. So 51.22. So once I pull a line here, my 40 feet, I'll pull this 32 and I'll make a, a radius. I'll go over to this pin, and I'll pull my 51.22. Wherever those two intersect, that is perpendicular. That is square. Our goal is to make sure both angles are the same. This does not lie. You cannot mess this up. If both my diagonals measure 51.22, everything is correct. Now, this is probably the one everybody knows. What if we had 3 by 4? So 3 times 3, 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. So we take 9 plus 16 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. To go on increments, you just double these. So you'd go 6, 8, 10. 12, 16, 20. Okay, let's try 12, 16. We're coming up with 20 is what it should be. So we know 12 squared is 144. We know 16 squared is 256. So some quick math here tells me 400, square root of 400 is 20. Yep, let's actually put an effect out here. You know what make this job better? If my fire hot wife was out here helping me. I shouldn't probably make it better for you too than instead of looking at my butt. <laughs> 51.22. This number will not disappoint, unlike your high school dates. For you, Karen Creek Cowboys and Cowgirls, that's been with us through this adventure of YouTube, you know all about that mill shop. That mill shop was built with the wood miser. Our LT35 sits inside that baby. It's an awesome little building. From start to finish, you got to see that unit, the hay burner barn. You got to see that layout to that stage it's at. The exterior is almost complete. You're ready for some stain from Miss Kimmy Buck? So here are the new projects. We have two 32 by 40 buildings. One here on the south, 18 foot gap, another 32 by 40 on the top. We need these for all of our equipment. We have several pieces of equipment it's sitting out in the sun, it's fading. We've got to get this equipment inside. But Jeremy, you might ask, everybody's building buildings on YouTube. We're going to do it with a little more enthusiasm 
And the coolest part about this little feature is from this side, from the mill shop side, looking across this creek, this is gonna look like an old Western town. We'll have a saloon, maybe a blacksmith shop, give us some feedback on different shop type fronts that would look cool. So there'll be two individual buildings. The 18 foot gap in the center will have a fake gable that covers it. So it'll look like actually entering a little town. Maybe put Cairn Creek above that center section. From the back, these will be plain Jane. It'll just be a wide open space with simply a roof. This one will happen overnight. It's gonna take some time to do this project. But we'd like to get the roof up, get the metal on pretty soon. And then as winter rolls around, we'll have time to start cutting our own boards to build this front facade like an old western town cowboy. Let me know what you think. One more cool tidbit about this barn project. The front, as you're looking now, will have a fake, maybe a six foot porch. I have a roof over it. I'm actually going to incorporate that roof as I build that front facet because it will help me stand to build those top boards. So I have a little roof, a little fake deck. Probably use wide oak on that deck for sure. It'll get some weather. These mosquitoes are terrible today. All right, so that's it. That deck from this side, it's going to look super sweet. Be one of the coolest things you ever see on YouTube's. I'm telling you. Well, folks, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Until next time, Karen Creek, over and out.